Welcome to our Kate Chris YouTube channel, a channel that is dedicated to the review of event venues in Kenya, the most unique of them all. And Kate, which counties have we been to? We began in Nyeri County, uh -huh. went to Fairmont, Mount Kenya. Yes. Hope you've watched. If you have not, go to our page and you'll get to see it. After that, we went to Lake Naivasha Resort. Yes. Today, we've come closer, closer to the Metropolitan. Where are we? Guess where we are? It's closer to Metropolitan. Metropolitan, of course, is Nairobi. And we are in Kiambu County. What is unique in Kiambu County? Any guess? Guys, we welcome you to journey with us at Kiambu County. Guess where? Paradise Lost. One of the most interesting places. Here we go. So how do you arrive to Paradise Lost? Assuming you're in CBD in Nairobi, Kenya, you hit Uhuru Highway all the way to the bypass and then you join the bypass heading to onto the highway, that's Sika Highway. You branch at uh, the police station, that's Mudaiga Police Station, and head all the way to Kiambu Road, a bit of slight traffic uh, as you go under the northern bypass. And a few kilometers to Kiambu town, you take a left and boom, you find yourself in the coffee plantation, you take a right. The scenery from there is interesting, a bit of a rough road, Maram Road, but very, very, very scenic. And you drive all the way to the gate and Paradise Lost welcomes you. So when you drive in, what do you see? The trees, grass, the nature trails, and uh, the beautiful scenery, which is the paradise. So uh, the nature trails, you can actually take a walk, you can jog, like me, I got to jog, got to run a bit and get fit. Uh, the, the, the trees, actually they conserve trees. They don't cut trees, when they fall, they just leave them in the air, which uh, gives you that freshness of Away from Nairobi, you know, when you get there, you just breathe fresh oxygen and get away the stress of the, the city. The reason why I tell you was my best, and I keep on laughing at myself actually. <laughs> when I watched that video, I laughed till today, and I'm sure you'll agree. It was my first time, and my trainer just demonstrated, showed me how to pull. So all I did was just oh. release and it fell like three times. There is release <laughs> and there is what she was doing. I want us to watch this clip again. Is this release? <laughs> you guys judge and tell us. Did Kit do it or not? I won. She Four didn't do it. <laughs> Let's give credit to Sharon. Look at her, Sharon did it. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> take two, take two, take two. <laughs> Tea is important. Tea. Tea. In paradise, lost. I'm getting lost in my tea. <laughs> yes. So the other interesting thing about paradise lost just like any other venue, you need to have a place for kiddie activities. And this place, I think, takes the cake in terms of how huge one of the activities is. And this is it. So now she's going to attempt the smaller one. <laughs> so I'm just going to give you a 360 view of this place, how it looks like. A whole field and they fenced it so your kids are safe they cannot just decide to jump and go somewhere so here we are Sharon discovered it some things are meant for kids 
and looks like Sharon wants to start again and we are going to try and wait for her here and she comes screaming oh my god this is deep <laughs> <laughs> Another activity at Paradise Lost is horse riding. Um, for me it was my first time to ride a horse and it was both interesting and scary. Scary the one at the same time. In the middle of riding, I, uh, the horse stopped to for a short call and long at the same time. <laughs> so it was I was there screaming, calling the guy who is the assistant, telling him it has stopped, what's happening? Only for them to tell me it's taking a short break. But it was fun. For me horse riding came natural and not natural of actually having ridden a horse, but by the fact that my parents were addict fans of TCM movies. You remember those uh, cowboy Wild Wild West movies, you know, you know they were riding, so they will tell me how uh, the cowboys are riding their horses, what it takes, how you alight from a horse, how you, you can jump into one. So when I encountered the horse that I was riding at Paradise Lost, it was a natural. I was not scared like Kit, who was scared, and Sharon and her friend. Me, I was not scared, I just rode. Line. So we are here to do zip lining, you know. This guy here is going to tell us what to do. Yep, my name is Benson. Yes. Uh, yeah. So I do zip lining. Uh -huh. and, uh, what is zip lining? What is zip lining? Do you guys know what zip lining is? Zip lining is zip lining across the leg. You, you, you get prepared with a harness, uh -huh. being clip on the line. You go across the dam, the the rig the other side, from one point to the other one, prepare the gravity. So, for those of you who are afraid of heights, what? combine that with water underneath. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, if you know you are afraid and you want to conquer your fears, this is the place to be. Paradise Lost, zip line. Right. how long is it? Uh, the first one is the longest one, mm -hmm. it's 350 meters. 350 meters. Yes, and the second one from coming back is 300 meters. To than, uh, to so the let's break it down for you. Zip lining, you zip across, but for you to come back, they've also built the way you come back. There are two lines. Yeah, so there are two lines. Mm -hmm, there are two lines. 350. And the other one is 300 meters. 300 meters. Yes. So for those who are afraid, mm -hmm. like Sharo, Sharon. And Kid. Where are Sharon and Kid? Uh, these ones. <laughs> oh, those are the. <laughs> yeah, these are the guys who are afraid. The feet of the. <laughs> the leg. The leg. Yeah. You have to conquer the fear <laughs> the of heights and lakes here today. For me. So who is it now? Who is who is who is being harnessed? So who is doing first? Yeah, man. Can't be like me. Let's do this. Yeah, Sharon. <laughs> Thanks very much. Yeah. So on the zip lining safety, number one, ensure you are always trapped on the platform and the line. Indicate your correct height and weight. Avoid zip lining if you are pregnant, if you have any heart conditions. If you are over 150 kgs, 
So guys, if you are over 150 kgs, you are not allowed to zip line. If you are over 75 years, zero zip lining for you. If you are under influence of alcohol or drugs, zero zip lining for you. <laughs> So the beauty is they give you a tutorial, they give you what to expect. They also make sure you sign a form. There's a form you're supposed to sign before you zip line by the way, which is key for your safety. Using your safety. Using your safety carabiner like that. And then you're going to clip it on the line. Again, using your pulley, this called a pulley, like that. And then, uh, we are going to ask you to hold the pulley using your dominant hand. Alright? So do you have anyone who is left handed? I'm right handed. Yeah? So if you're left handed, you use your left hand to hold the pulley. The others you can use your right hand to hold the pulley. Okay? And this, is, this is how you hold the pulley. Uh, your four fingers, make sure they are scanned over. And you make sure your thumb is facing skywards. Thumb facing up like this, okay? So that your, la your thumb doesn't lie on the line. Alright? And then the other hand, your non dominant hand, hold the lanyard. Down here below. After that, I'm going to ask you to sit. So when I tell you to sit down, please make sure you put your whole body weight on the harnesses, okay? Yeah. They're very safe. You can even they're capable of holding up to 1.5 tons. So do you have any honors the beyond 1.5 tons? This one. Can Are you? So when I tell you to sit down, you yeah. make sure you sit, you don't hang on the pool, okay? Comfortably put your whole body weight. They're very comfortable to do that. Like this one, right? Yeah. Good. Once you have seated, we are going to do our own checks just to make sure everything is safe. is very safe, and then we are going to release you. Okay. Now, when you're having fun down there, that's when you overcome to scenario. You either go too fast or you go too slow. Okay. Yes. Depending on your posture, the posture is you lie back the way she's sitting, lean back, and put your legs together. Okay. That's your best posture. All right. But in case you don't do that, you'll be turning around and you might uh, not even have that good speed. But in case you go too fast, you know you ladies, you'll be having a good posture. So in case you go too fast, Agnes on the other side should be checking your speed. And when she notices you're coming too fast, uh, she lays up hands like this and she's doing short breaks. Okay, so if you hear that and see hands up like this, the reason you're moving too fast. And this is how you break yourself. You cover your left hand. That's the, that's my dominant hand. Sorry for you, it's your right hand. And you place it behind the pulley the way she's doing it. Always behind, and you press the line down continuously without holding it. Okay? So you let your hand line like that gently on the line. You press down, and the friction that you're going to keep uh, between the gloves and the line is all that is going to stop on the platform. Nice and easy, okay? Are you together? Good. But in case you go too, too slow and then you don't make it, very safe, very good. Just uh, take your time. You take off your light hand, you hold the line behind, hold the line in front of the pulley. You turn yourself the way she's turning, and you start closing on the line like a monkey. Yeah? So that is when, <laughs> that is when you, you go too slow, don't make it to the other side. Oh. Right? Okay. Good. But in the case you can't even do yourself, she's a super car. She's coming and helping you, okay? Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> you get us. The planning is made for everyone, okay? Yeah. yeah. So don't get scared, okay? Mm -hmm. Any questions? Are you good to go? Yeah. yeah. So good. Yeah. Yes. Yes. This one. So you are holding like this all the way. All the way. You are dominant on top. You are yeah. You only take, you only break one on the one. Okay. Yeah. 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 For me, uh, zip lining, I have never zip lined before. Yes, I think we have zip lined somewhere, but this one was over the lake. I can't break it.
So all activities in Paradise Lost are very nice, except entering caves. Me, confined spaces, there's something called claustrophobia. I am not boarding. We make sure you do. Me? You are leading. Never ever. <laughs> Right where we are is where the Mongol fighters uh, used to hide in the darkness. It's cold and lit like it is right now. It's quite hot. It's 150 feet below sea level. Accommodation in mind with Paradise Lost. 
the nature gives itself to camping. So at night you can get camp tents, they hire tents by the or you can come with your own and have nyama at night over a bonfire. How about that? Nyama is a bonfire, but make sure you dress warm. It can be chilly at night. If it's chilly at night, it can rain any time because they are next to a lake. Remember they are next to a lake. And key, remember to carry mosquito repellent. It's key for you to be warm and repel the, the insects via a repellent. Open spaces for events are not easy to find. As in natural as they are, they are not easy to find. The most interesting thing about Paradise Lost is its natural events space. As in, it's, it's God built it like a theater. So you can put your stage at the far end and then all your people that are coming to watch your performance are somehow seated in a slanting manner going up, meaning nobody is blocking the other person. One key element when you are looking for a venue is parking space. At Paradise Lost, this is well catered for you. So there's enough parking space you can park along the road so you don't have the headache of parking. There is nothing that they have done to it. It's natural as it is and they've not cut the trees but the space exists. So when you want to have an event of any nature and as many as 10,000 people and the 10,000 people can include exhibitions, can include activities happening on the sidelines and then you have this one focal point that everybody now can come and watch a performance whether during the day or during the night. Paradise Lost event venue takes it all. Thank you for watching. We truly appreciate you don't take it for granted. Remember to subscribe, tell a friend, to watch, share and comment, tell us down below what do you think of of today's video tell us where next should we go and we shall come it all needs to be unique it needs to be something that people would love to see and go and experience and that's what this is all about event venues ke reviewing the best the most unique what kenya has to offer see you in the next episode in the next community thank you